okay, so it's not um, completely hopeless to to have this to have the Constitution removed from campus from being handed out. I don't know. I wish I could answer that. Is there a way that we could maybe just like get rid of it somehow? Just kind of like as therapy, you know? Like I see it can like I see it like destroyed and kind of that way it won't like haunt me anymore in my dreams or anything. Right. I'm happy to. Yeah. Okay. So. Where, uh, where would you like to throw it away? Just, just in the garbage. So I've honestly been haunt, just haunted by it. Um, I just think I it would, it would just really help. Do you know about all the people that can kind of support you through this? Because you said you've met, you've lost your, you've lost some sleep. Well, I think that the Constitution means things to different people. Like you said, it's a flawed document, and the people who wrote it are certainly flawed individuals in my mind. Is there any way that maybe like? We can get rid of it somehow, and I can just see that. Like maybe be like therapy for me. Like we can like shred it or something. Wow. You want to feed it in there? I kind of just want to watch. Um, but I'll, let me find out what the policies are on distribution of materials, propaganda, um, okay. obscene materials, propaganda, um, okay. obscene materials. I think it's safe to say that people like the fact that we're here doing this. They like the fact that it's starting a conversation whether they don't like it or not. Hey, do you want one? Yeah, thank Constitution? You. Thank you. What are your so thoughts much. on the Constitution? I love it. You want to go to lunch with the Constitution? Oh my god, yeah, but like, can you eat in there? It is very hard to reach my mouth. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Are you scared of the Constitution in any way? No. Do I scare you? The Is shoes. It, the shoes scare you? <laughs> yeah, I guess they are kind of intimidating. Did you lose a bet? Or... <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you're not being hazed? <laughs> I feel like people aren't happy unless they have something to complain about. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hi. We're talking about the Constitution. Okay. What do you think? It's great that as America we have one of the only living documents in the world. I mean, it's a living document so we can always improve it. Yeah. The, the living, you like the fact that it's a, a living document, yes. right? Good, good. It is so bad with upsetting people. Yeah, I, well, I agree. Well, in higher education it's like such a, like, you're not supposed to offend anyone. So like, I don't know, that's just a whole well, thing. Oh, that's the that mascot for this. Oh, what a cute dog. I think the dog is scared of me, though. I think the dog doesn't like me. <laughs> that dog definitely, that dog definitely does not like me. That dog doesn't like the Constitution. I mean, the mascot doesn't like the Constitution. Th that's just a metaphor for so many things. Right here, this is a little Billie Jean number, right? Michael Jackson, like, Nobody cares. At Yale University, our journalist once again encountered political correctness gone to the extreme. Your dean, you know, would, would have certainly authority to take care of any of those things in that college. And he would help me remove it. What's this? And he would help me. Yeah. He would. Okay. I hope so. I mean, yeah. that's, that would be, like I said, my expectation is if someone were distributing or, you know, posting offensive materials, that the dean would, would uh, listen to that and take some sort of action as appropriate, you know. Yeah. When your freedom of expression impacts other, other people's ability to engage uh, actively in the community, to engage in their education, um, or really take full advantage of everything that the university has to offer, that that's when things cross that line. If, if this document exists in the library, mm -hmm. it's not in your face. Yeah. If you choose to go look at it, then that's your choice, right? Yeah, but, but when it's being dropped, presumably in a public space where people are likely to come upon it, mm -hmm. then maybe that's, maybe that's the difference. 
Is there a way that we could maybe just like get rid of it somehow? Just kind of like as therapy, you know, like I see it can like, I see it like destroyed and kind of that way it won't like haunt me anymore in my dreams or anything. Right, right. I mean, I'm happy to take it and shred it in my office. Um, but I, let me find out what the policies are on distribution of materials, propaganda, um, okay. obscene materials, things like that. It triggered me, and um, I've been trying to deal with it ever since of why that would be on campus. Okay. I just see this as such an oppressive document that I was completely shocked to see okay. it on campus. Okay. All right. I guess I, I printed out some of the... And um, honestly, I believe that handing out the Constitution on campus completely violates, you know, the discrimination and um, okay. bias policy. Considering this mm -hmm. document, you know, um, discriminates women, mm -hmm. people of color. Mm -hmm. um, I guess, like, like as a woman, I'm sure you understand mm -hmm. that, like, we didn't have rights with this, mm -hmm. and. To have it just given out freely on campus, I just couldn't believe that. Okay. Um, I saw Syracuse as a mm -hmm. place that really, you know, wanted to be inclusive mm -hmm. and cared about like their students and not discriminating them. Mm -hmm. And so, I guess is is that true? Like, do they yes, really care? Yes, yes. I, I would say that we definitely care. Is there a way that we can just like get rid of it or something? Can I take a picture of it? I just think I, I would. Serious. Now that I'm doing this, is this going to help you today, or do you want to talk to someone today? I, this really helps me today to see you do this. Okay. Thank you so much. This no this is really helping. Okay. Seeing it kind of, you know, destroyed mm -hmm. will give me a little bit of peace of mind. Is this gonna? Is this good? Do you want me to? Okay. Yeah, this is good. Maybe you can that throw it away now. Yeah. At Cornell, the official we spoke to seemed to more than agree that there were serious problems with that old U.S. Constitution and it needed to be shredded. Mm -hmm. All right, so what happened? Um, well, so I have it with me. So I just, I um, have my own personal reasons why the Constitution is very triggering for me. Well, I think that the Constitution means things to different people. Like you said, it's a flawed document, and the people who wrote it are certainly flawed individuals in my mind. You know, my personal feeling, and everybody's entitled to their opinion, is that the people in, on the Supreme Court who voted against same-sex marriage were, you know, really out of their minds. But they're smart people, they went to good schools, and they have, you know, high intellect, and how could they look at this and think that it applies to them and interpret it in one way? And so handing it out on campus, I think, is a way for everybody to, to sort of see how, how they choose to interpret it. Like I said before, it's a very flawed document, and it's written by flawed individuals. Do you want to leave this here, or do you want to take it? I don't know, just kind of... Having it with me has been really hard. Leave it in. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, this might seem kind of silly, but is, is it okay if I maybe just say it anyway? Yeah, sure. Is there any way that maybe, like, we can get rid of it somehow and I can just see that? It could maybe be like therapy for me. Like we can like shred it or something. I don't think we have a shredder here. Oh, go ahead. Come with me, let's go check. I didn't even notice there was a shredder here. <laughs> yeah, free speech means freedom to destroy whatever you want to as well. Oh. You want to feed it in there? I kind of just want to watch. Yeah. Helpful? Mm -hmm. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Discriminates against the Constitution. No. All right, never mind. 
We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Tell me why you fussing Don't I dip you out